Phil or, is or the people's whatever. is the players' coach. A veteran, yeah, a vet team. Jeez, he'll let them play. Man, he'll let them do what they need to do to win. Yo, 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 got, yo. Dennis Rodman won a vacation on, on a bender on a forty-eight hour like bender to Vegas. Yeah, get that. Yeah, and MJ had to go rescue him. Yeah, we talked about that last time. But it's it's just crazy to see a coach like right before they went into the playoffs, they're like, "Yo, golf course." Kick it, sleep over. Whatever. Indeed, yeah. And then there was that. That was in '98. Like they went to go play golf right before the yeah. playoffs started. Then back in the '93 playoffs, they went down 2-0 to the Knicks in the Eastern Conference Finals. And before the first game, MJ was seen in, in AC gambling till 3 a.m. Right. And then he, after that, he decides he's not going to talk to the press. His dad steps up and steps up and talks to the press because. You know, he has great parents and they have his back. Love that. And then after that is, you know, the gambling stuff with that um, that guy, Slim, Slim Kohler. The guy oh, with the, slit. Pretty, the, pretty, the pretty Jerry boy. Curl, yeah, yep. that he owed $57,000 oh, to because he lost the bet. Yep. And then that other golfer that wrote the book about Michael Jordan gambling that he had to pay $1.2 million to. And shit, it was, it, was, it was a lot. Yeah. In a very short amount of time that was coming at Jordan. And then the Jordan Rules book. By Sam Smith, That's where Sam Smith. they were, where it was rumored that Horace Grant was talking shit about MJ and the rest of the team. And There's the so much to unpack the team. Here. There's so yeah. much to unpack. And I, and as a kid watching basketball at this time, of course, I never, I never realized this, right. but like watching this, it was a lot that was coming at him. And I don't want, I don't mean to go back to to Draymond, but Draymond was complaining about KD's free agency being an issue that season. Dog, it is nothing. Nothing, Nothing compared to what MJ was going through at that time. 30 heads a pop. Yeah. Out your locker room. Not for anyone else but to hear what Jordan got to say about these particular issues in which we want to address. And we're going to keep addressing until you give us something. And Jordan's giving them nothing. Nothing. And then even in 98, when you know, when as you as MJ, you as Pip, you as Rodman, you as any other player on that team, you know your Hall of Fame coach. There's no possibility that he's going to coach next year. You know you're probably going to retire. You know the team is probably going to be disbanded. You know there's a bunch of drama about Pitt wanting to get traded. And you do all this stuff and you still dominate and you still win a championship. And Draymond is out here crying, complaining, bitching, and moaning about a nigga on his team. I don't know what he's going to do next year. Shut the he- fuck up. Bro, Draymond. Dog. Draymond. Perspective. Yeah, man. Perspective. Draymond's a spoiled ass brat and the world revolves around him. And like, it's just distasteful but jordan was going through some shit he cleared it up because people like to focus that jordan had a gambling issue or gambling problem and he said no it's not it's not about that it's just i'm competitive i think he does perspective yeah i I think he does and i don't think he was accountable to shit and i think when is gambling a problem actually that's the better question when is gambling a problem when you can't go without it and he couldn't go without it is it a problem if it doesn't hurt you? No, because, ah, oh man, yeah, that's tough because even if it's not Jordan, Michael Jordan, like they said in the document, Jordan, Michael Jordan has the means. Like if he lost, if he loses $10,000 in a card game, that's us losing $5 in a card game, right. you know? So it's nothing to him. Right. The income, the stream, it's nothing to him, right? right? But if it is a compulsive, consistent activity where... You just always have to be on because when you're gambling, it's not exactly like the money that's the the thing that you're losing the most. It's like you just can't be still. Like there's something what's about wrong? you. But what's some, wrong with that? There's, some, there's something about you where you just can't can't not take that risk. Where that's where your heart, that's where your adrenaline comes from. It doesn't come from regular life shit. And I want to know if in this documentary they're going to turn that switch from when MJ went from this country boy that wasn't going to go to the hotel room with his players doing coke and fucking bitches to this nigga that's smoking cigars every day, drinking uh, cognac every day, and no fucking way. multiple bitches behind his wife's back. No way. That's how we're here. We're here to see the last dance. We're not going to see the. We're but not going to see the dirt. But they 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 brought up the dirt though. They brought up the fights. We're going to stop right here at gambling. We're going to stop right here at, at teammates. We're not going to talk about bitches and bitches. And we'll see. I, I, I hope they do. I I, I don't see. I, listen, George is in, in charge of how does he want. This is a message. Like like that's the one thing I'm, I'm trying to like remember. This is what Jordan wants the world to know. So the world wants to know that. The yeah. world wants to know when I know what the world I know what the world when he wants started to know. stepping out on Juanita. The world wants to yeah, know. The world wants to know. But how Jordan, Juanita got that bag and that divorce. That's what the world wants to know. Yeah, I want to know. Jordan wants y'all to know 
what he wants y'all to know, and that's what he's going to give us. 